You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, B&B fans, Belinda from Soap Dirt with your two-week spoilers from Monday, July 15th, all the way through Friday, July 26th. We are going to talk about Sheila Carter's innocence, where the double homicide is concerned, and also Liam Spencer's persistence when it comes to Steffi's marriage. We're going to dive into all this. Let's get started with what's happening on Monday, July 15th on the CBS Soap Opera. We've got Jameson Belushi in a cameo as Lab Tech April over at the hospital. Hollis died on Friday. We're going to see a little bit of replay to that. He's going to be hustled over to the hospital. He's going to be on a slab in the morgue. They're going to do some blood work. And the results of his autopsy are going to shock Lee Finnegan and Finn. And they are going to share the results with people they probably shouldn't. Steffi, Poppy, others. That takes us to the action Tuesday, July 16th, 2024. Deacon Sharp is understandably worried. Two people that work for him have died within, what, two, three days of each other? One death is one thing. A couple of deaths is a coincidence. I'm just wondering why the police, when they find out that they died of the same drug overdose, why do they... You know, are they going to jump to homicide or is there going to be at least a conversation about maybe they had the same drug dealer? It's in L.A., you know, drug hot spot. I mean, plenty of big, every big city is a drug hot spot. So two people working together, dying of the same drugs, to me, sounds like they were sharing drugs or they had the same dealer. But we'll see if they jump straight to murder because this definitely is going to be a two person who done it. And Lee and Femme tell Steffi about the drug overdose, that it was the same drug as Tom Starr. And Lee is certain that Sheila Carter is the killer. I mean, is that just based on proximity, right? Other than if anybody drops dead, you know, in a 300 yard radius of Sheila Carter, it has to be her with no, no evidence. I'm sure there's going to be accusations. And then speaking of evidence, that's going to manifest on Wednesday, July 17th. We're going to have Deputy Chief Baker having scenes. Dan Martin is back to Bold and the Beautiful. He's always good as the LAPD's resident law enforcement officer that comes to deal with murders and mayhem among the Foresters, the Logans, and now the Carter Sharps. So he is at Sheila and Deacon's apartment. Sheila and Deacon are there. And then the the local villagers with their torches are there. And that is Steffi and Finn and it's going to be Lee there. I don't know when the police started bringing along ride alongs from people who hate the presumptive culprit, but some kind of evidence goes missing a clue or something. And that is part of why Baker is going to take Sheila in for questioning. I can't imagine they have any actual evidence against her unless somebody planted some. What seemed to catch Hollis's eye was clearly a bundle of letters. You know, is Poppy's name on those letters? He leafed through them and he was really kind of gobsmacked by what he saw. So since that's the main evidence he found, I'm wondering if that is what goes missing. But at this point, it can only be circumstantial evidence, right? Thursday, July 18th, Steffi and Finn spend some time together confirming their love and devotion. We literally just saw that scene last week when we had the spoiler about their steamy kiss, which I was trying to figure out why was that even a spoiler. And it sounds like it's going to be a similar conversation, but I wonder if there is more context to it because in the promo this week, of course, we have Hope telling Finn she is attracted to him. And he says, you can't say things like that. And she tells him she can dream and she's making googly eyes. And so I am kind of wondering if Finn is going to tell Steffi what she said. I hope, I hope so, because he gets in trouble when Steffi finds out things that he 
didn't do, didn't instigate, didn't even want to happen, but he just happened to be in the room, like when he stumbled into Sheila's wedding. And if Steffi finds out from someone else that Hope has been declaring her love and he hasn't reported her, he's going to be grounded for sure. And if Liam overhears it, you know, you know he's going to go run into Steffi. So that same day on Thursday, Brooke Logan is very worried about Hope Logan's ongoing fixation on Finn. And she's very worried that Hope is going to deliberately interfere in Steffi's marriage. And I'm sure as far as Hope is concerned, she probably thinks, well, Steffi deliberately interfered in my relationship. So why shouldn't I? But Steffi wasn't seducing her guy. And there is a photo I can't show you for copyright reasons, but Ridge is facing off with Brooke and Hope in the CEO office next week. Looks like a tense chat. I do wonder if he walks in on them and, and overhears Brooke telling her daughter stay out of Steffi's marriage because I'm sure he will be quick to weigh in on that. Friday, July 19th, we're going to end the week with Finn warning Liam Spencer to stay out of his marriage stay away from Steffi he's a co-parent and nothing more you know Liam is not going to back down though meanwhile Steffi corners Hope and she's got some new ground rules for her about Finn about Hope for the future I'm sure about Thomas and also in the week ahead Deacon tells Sheila that he wants answers he wants to know what happened to his friends and I think he's going to be really stunned when the cops come to their door then we have the week of spoilers from July 22nd through the 26th just by the way Thursday July 25th is when when July sweeps officially ends, but I don't think the action is going to slow down because there is so much stuff happening on these front burner storylines. I think we're going to see that momentum carry us into early August. And I just don't even know, again, how we've gotten to mid-July and then all the way into August already. It still seems like January. All right. Steffi is on high alert about Hope possibly interfering in her marriage. I think she's watching her to make sure she stays away from Femme stays away from Thomas, doesn't try to mess with Thomas's engagement, even though he and Paris are back in France. And I do wonder if Sheila Carter is going to be able to convince Deacon that she is innocent. And I wonder if he will have 100% confidence in what she tells him or if he's going to have doubts only to have them assuaged later. I have no doubt that Sheila Carter is innocent. She is the easiest and obvious scapegoat. Therefore, it is not her. We have a couple of people around who are not on contract, so they are not people they necessarily care about losing. For instance, Ted King as Jack Finnegan is completely disposable. Aaron D. Spears as Justin Barber, although I don't think they would have brought Justin back just to make him a killer, but you never know. B&B is pretty tone deaf that way. So I can't say they wouldn't, but Ted King and anybody who's not on contract seems a much more viable scapegoat, but Sheila is going to take the blame at least initially. Liam is going to have more scenes stirring up drama in Steffi's marriage I just wonder, since she and Finn just had this bonding moment a couple of different times over the past couple of weeks before this, if she's going to tell him to kick rocks or if she's going to confide in him like she usually does. I'm guessing at the minimum, she's going to talk to him about Thomas's engagement and hope not staying out of it. Sheila is going to protest her innocence, and I wonder if the missing evidence is what of would have pointed the police at the real killer and whether it's going to turn back up. I don't think Hope is going to take no as an answer from Finn. Her fixation is far from over. And I am hoping by this second week that we're going to get a wedding date for Thomas and Paris, along with a return date for them coming back to Los Angeles to get married at the Forrester Mansion. Mansion. And Lee and Steffi both are saying they're convinced that Sheila killed both these men. But I do think Lee Finnegan might know better. That's it. Thanks for listening. 
thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 